Road Wanderers. Greetings from Houston, Texas. Well, technically the outskirts of Houston because we're at the NASA Johnson Space Center. Let's go explore and see if they still have a problem. Destiny Theatre has an HD digital screen and shows a short historical film, Human Destiny. The center holds over 400 space artifacts, permanent and traveling exhibits, attractions, live shows, and theaters dedicated to preserving the history of American human spaceflight program. For example, the Apollo 17 command module America is on the exhibit and you can see it right now. You can check how the everyday activities are performed in space and how it looks to do a somersault in zero gravity. Many exhibits were dedicated to moon landing. You could even touch the moonstone. It felt like... like a stone with a hint of a moon. You can try to drive the Mars rover if you want. The Space Shuttle Replica Independence sits atop the original shuttle carrier aircraft 905, which is one of the two original shuttle carrier aircrafts. Independence Plaza is the only place where the public can enter both vehicles. The center has extensive STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics education programs. A stellar science show is a live program that lets guests become rocket scientists through interactive experiments performed by center crew members. But in microgravity cells will thrive. They grow quicker, stronger, larger, and in three dimensions. Okay, enough of space science. Let's have a look at space fashion. As you can see, the puff sleeves dominate the outfits, and a matching hoodie is always a must. Some of the cuts might not be the most flattering to everybody type though. And the color scheme could be more vibrant. After all, where else should people demonstrate their good taste than in space? Space Center. 
Houston and beginning our journey to the Johnson Space Center, one of 10 NASA field centers and the heart of human spaceflight operations. Few people know this, but the land that JSC sits on was originally owned by the Humboldt Oil Company, now known as Exxon, who later donated the land to Rice University, who in turn sold it so JSC could be built. On the other side of that tunnel up ahead will be your first look into the land that is the Johnson Space Center. Chamber A is used to test spacecraft, and Chamber B is used to test spacesuits. Next to the building, you'll see those large gas storage tanks which hold liquid nitrogen, kept at 320 degrees below zero. The nitrogen is pumped into the vacuum chambers and used to simulate the cold, harsh environment of space, so engineers can test the tolerance of spacecraft and equipment. We have entered one of the buildings that are available for general public. It is a university research program. So we've been picking it up with the Orion capsule starting from the far right. Orion is the next exploration vehicle that will transport up to four astronauts into deep space. It will provide emergency abort capabilities during the climb to orbit, sustain the during space travel, and provide safe re-entry from deep space velocity. The European Space Agency, in partnership with NASA, is designing and developing the service module for the Orion spacecraft. The robonauts that should be able to perform the dangerous task in space are one of the research topics, as well as Mars modules where people could live. Space missions to asteroids and to Mars. The Orion Project Office is leading this historic development effort from here in Houston, making the Johnson Space Center responsible for the Orion crew module, crew training, mock-up facilities, as well as mission control. inside the building and check out the legendary Saturn V rocket, the same type of rocket that took our astronauts to the moon. Now the rocket inside is a real one and would have been used on later Apollo missions had they not been cancelled. It's a whopping 363 feet long and yet, yes, it takes up the entirety of the building. The first stage of this Saturn V rocket is from SA-514, originally intended for the cancelled Apollo 19. The second stage from SA-515, originally intended for the cancelled Apollo 20. And the third stage from SA-513, which was not needed after it was replaced by the Skylab. Me and my crew would like to thank you for watching this video. Guys, do you want to add something? Oh yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos. Thank you very much and bye! So that's it guys, thank you! You can stop smiling, it's a wrap up!